Good morning, everyone. This is your English class, and today we are going to study our fourth chapter, that is articles. So let's start. First point: the words a and the are called articles. Articles are actually demonstrative adjectives and are used to point out people or things. So they are used before nouns. So dear friends, as we all know that demonstrative adjectives we use like this, that, these, those. So this, that we use to point out the things. Like we can say that this is my pen. That is your pen. Okay. So same, just to demonstrate the things we use articles a and and the, right? Next point, a and n are indefinite articles while the is definite article. Since we do not have articles in Indian languages, we should try to understand their use carefully. So dear students, first point we have to understand, these articles are divided into two parts. First part is called indefinite articles in which A and N will come. Second is definite article. Da is the part of definite article. Next point, B point, A and N. We use A and N before countables in singular number, like a book, a chair, a tree, an apple, an ant, an island, right? So when things are singular, and things are uncountable. Things should be uncountable. Along with this, it should be singular. If things are singular and uncountable, then we can use either A or N. But condition is that that should be indefinite nouns. I will let you know that what are the definite nouns and what are the indefinite nouns. So with the indefinite nouns, which are the countables and singular, so we can use either A or N. Next point, the words book, chair, tree, apple, and island are all countables in singular number. It is clear that we can't say a milk, a strength, a tea, since milk, strength, and tea are not uncountables. Similarly, we can't say an apples, an ants, a, a trees, Apples, ants, are trees are countables, but they are in a plural number. So dear students, second point we have to understand. So things should be countable, but it should not be in plural forms. Like we can't say a buses, a cars, and apples, because they are countable, but they are in their plural forms. Secondly, which things are uncountable. So those things are singular, but due to uncountability, we can't use neither A nor N. Like a milk we can't say, a strength we can't say, a tea we can't say. Why? Why can't we say a milk, a strength, a tea? Because the all objects are uncountable, right? So ultimately we have understood that our conclusion is that when things are countable and in their singular form, in that case, we should use either A or N. Next point, we use A before countable in singular number beginning with a consonant sound. If we use any countable singular noun, and the starting sound of that word is consonant. In that case, we should use A, like a banana, a lake, a song, right? So you can see that banana, b sound is there. So that is consonant. Lake, l sound is there in starting. So that is consonant. That's why we have used A here. A song, s, song, s sound is there. That is consonant. That's why we have used here A. 
next we use n before a uncountable in singular number beginning with a vowel sound when sound is vowel of any word which is countable and along with this singular so we need to use n like an egg egg a uh, our sound is there always uh, we know that vowel sound and orange o orange so o sound is there which is vowel so that's why we have used here an an apple a apple so a sound is there which is vowel so that's why we have used n here note that we have not said words beginning with a consonant or a vowel we have said words beginning with a consonant sound or a vowel sound so if a word begins with a vowel but not a vowel sound we use a before it so dear students this point we have to understand very carefully when we use a or n so we need to see the beginning sound starting sound not the spelling not the letters of the in the starting so you can see some examples are written here a university a university so you can see that vowel letter is there which is u you know that u is vowel letter but we have studied here we should see only sound not the letter but the sound of this word is university y university y y sound is there which is consonant that's why we need to use here a a university right second european european y same y sound is there third one rupees note one rupees note v v sound in in the beginning that's why we have used here a right so ultimately we have understood this like according to sound we should use a or n come on the next point some other words which begin with a vowel but take up with them are uniform unit useful you by right? these are the words with them we need to use a not n because their beginning sound is consonant not vowel but the spelling you can see that in spelling you will find vowel letter but a or n we use according to the beginning sound not according to the spelling next if some words begin with an unsounded h they also take n with them some words are there in their spelling you will find h letter is there but sometime many words are there h letter is uh, silent that is not pronounced so we need to see that what is the beginning sound so if, if beginning sound is um, vowel after removing the h sound so we should use n like an honest boy an honorable person so o o sound is the honest boy not honest boy that's honest boy o that's a vowel honorable person o sound is there some other words of this types type are here hearus how many ha r so like these words are there of these all the words beginning sound is vowel not consonant that's why we need to use n with them next an abbreviations if consonant begin with a vowel sound the take n with them you know dear students many abbreviations we use so same we need to see in the abbreviation what sound comes in the beginning like m a m a a uh, m a uh, a uh sound is there which is vowel so we need to use n here next m p m p n m p a uh, sound is there next p h d p h d p uh, sound is there that's why we have used a b a b a b b uh, sound in beginning that's why we have used a so according to sound beginning sound we need to use either a or n secondly the consonant m is pronounced as m so it it begins with the vowel sound consonant p is pronounced as p 
so it begins with the consonant sound same thing we have studied note the use of a in the flowing phrases so dear students some phrases are there in this we need to learn these phrases because whenever we use these phrases always we put a with them like to be in a hurry to have a headache in a loud voice in a low voice a bad cold a noise a pity so these are all the phrases in which you need to use a next dear students on the behalf of this understanding we need to do these exercise use a or n where necessary so according to the sense where there is a necessary you need to use either a or n right so first i will let you know that children do not make noise in the corridor so noise word we have seen that with the noise we need to use a children do not make a noise in the corridor so this exercise you will do in your book now let's come on the c part the use da before a noun when we want to make it particular i have read the book you are talking about not any book but the book you are talking of let us walk towards the front gate not any gate but the front gate so dear students first point we should understand about the when things you want to make particular or you can say that when you talk about the definite thing for that case you should use the right like i have read the book which book you are talking about maine wo book pad li hai jiske bare mein tum baat kar rahe ho so i am talking about a particular book so i have defined that which book you are talking about so listener and speaker both know about which book they are talking so when listener or speaker know that about what thing we are talking so that is definite thing so you can see when reader and writer both know about which thing they are talking so it means that thing is definite so i have read the book i have used here the book because we are talking about a particular or we can say a definite book so that's why we need to use here the not a let us walk towards the front gate i am not talking about any gate if i use here let us walk towards our front gate so it means where you are standing there are many gates okay in front in front like uh, in the front wall there are many gates so you want to say that in any gate let's go but if you say that let us walk towards the front gate so it means you are talking about a particular gate or it is also possible there is only one gate and towards that gate you are planning to go right so here the in front gate means a particular gate next with superlatives so whenever dear students we use superlative degrees we should use the before them like the sweetest song the most intelligent student next point so with such words as first last next only same flowing precious previous So these with these words we we should also use the like the first the last the next the last bench the only son the next house but the is not used with such expressions like the last night last week the last month so we should not say that the we should say directly last month last week last year last night okay what did you eat last night we should not say what did you eat the last night next point with a common noun when the noun represent the whole class so with the common noun also we can use the when that common noun represents the whole class like the dog is a faithful animal so we are not talking about a particular dog we are talking about all the race of a dog means all types of dogs we are talking about 
and they are faithful that's why we have used him the dog is a faithful animal the elephant has a remarkable memory so we are not talking about any one elephant we are talking about complete race so that's why we have used here the elephant or we can say also elephants have a remarkable memory okay so in this way also we can say elephants have a remarkable memory or in this way also we can say the elephant has a remarkable memory so by this way we can also uh, like show the race of complete elephants and this way also the elephant next with such nouns as earth moon sun sky etc these things are the only ones of their kind but they are not proper nouns you know dear students earth moon sun sky they are not the proper nouns but they are only one of their kinds so that's why to make them particular we need to use da before them we could see the moon in the sky so da we have used before moon the earth revolves around the sun so da again we have used before earth and sun because to make them particular next with the name of river sea and oceans mountain ranges holy books trains ships aeroplanes newspapers well known buildings countries if the name contain a common noun that the, the di directions the whole families is all the things dear students we need to learn that because with this all the things we use the article next in such word combinations as if you use such combination like to speak the truth so before the truth we need to use the to play the violin before the violin we should use the on the one hand in the morning on the other hand in the afternoon so we should use the here next note the use of the in the flowing the rich should help the poor rich people should help poor people so dear students when we use the article before any adjective so rich and poor you know that these are the adjective words like we can see he is a rich person so rich is describing the person so rich poor these are the adjectives so i want to say you we can use the before adjectives just condition is that when we want to show by that adjectives such type of people like if i say the rich it means i am talking about all the rich people if i say the poor it means i am talking about all the poor people right the rich should help the poor rich people should help the poor it means next the more we get the more we desire so dear students just for like when we use comparative degree in this sense so we should use the before comparative degree jaise hum bolte hain hindi mein jitna tum sochoge utna tum samjhoge jitna tum padhoge utna tum samajhdar banoge jitna tum upar jaoge utni tumhe thand lagegi so jitna utna for this sense we use the the more we get the more we desire the higher we go the cooler it is so same with the comparative degree we can use for such sense cloth is sold by the meter we can buy we can buy oranges by dozen so by the meter by the dozens with these all words we also use the articles now come on the exercise number 2 fill in the blanks with a n or the where necessary so in this exercise you need to fill either a or n or the where you think that it is necessary to use this exercise you will do by yourself and soon i'll send the answer key then you can match the answers the omission of uh, the so dear students here we have to understand in which condition or with which nouns we should not use the article let's understand normally we do not use with proper nouns abstract nouns and such nouns are gold silver water wood etc which name materials so dear students whenever we use proper nouns proper nouns means like a name of particular thing name of proper things or abstract nouns or material nouns so with them usually we don't use any article any means the article like india is a great country 
So India is a proper name. So there is a no need to use the here. Beauty is admired by all. Beauty is abstract noun because we can't touch and see the beauty. Beautiful person we can see, but beauty we can't see or touch. Okay. Next, gold is a precious metal. So gold is a material now. So gold also we like uh, we can't use any article with gold. But when we use these nouns as particular ones, we have to use with them. Like the India of the 21st century is going to be a superpower. So dear students, second exception we have to understand in this, we can use also the article with, with them, with these words, when we need to show those proper nouns uh, in a particular situation. Like if I say the India of 21st century, so I am not talking about general India. I'm talking about like India of the 21st century. Right. So in this case, we can use the the beauty of Noor Jahan. I'm not talking about any normal beauties, but I'm talking about a particular beauty. Which beauty? The beauty of Noor Jahan is famous all over the world. The gold we have purchased today seems to be pure. I'm not talking about any common gold. I'm talking about a particular gold which I purchased today. Wait. So when we make them particular, for that sense, we can use though also. We do not use with these phrases. So these phrases, dear students, we have to learn because when we use these phrases, we should not use the article like to take place, to take interest in, to make use of, to pay attention on food, by train, to take part in, to take heart, to lose heart, from heart to food, at home, by bus. So dear students, with these older expressions of phrases, we should not use any article. Next E point, repetition of the, look at these two sentences, the poet and the dramist, drama, dramatist have been honored. So you can see the students, two articles we have used, means two times the we have used because we are talking about a different persons. Poet is someone else and dramatistic, dramat, uh, dramatistic is someone else. And if I see the poet and dramatist, has been honored. So poet and dramatist is the same person because one time I have used the article, right? If I say, uh, like uh, my, if I say the class in charge and principal has come. So one time I have used the, it means principal is your class in charge also. If I say the class in charge and the principal have come, it means both are different persons. Next, the first sentence in which we have used them twice speaks of two different persons, of one of whom is a poet and other is a dramatist. The second sentence suggests that the same person is both a poet and dramatist. Same thing I have told you. Dear students, on the behalf of this exercise, you have to do exercise number three also. Fill in the blanks with suitable articles where necessary. Exercise number four, insert A, N or the where necessary. In this paragraph, dear students, you need to fill either A, N or the where you think that it is necessary to use. Okay, this exercise also you will do. Then soon I will send the answer key, then you can match the answers, right? Now, please come on the page number, chapter number 29 and page number 205. 205 page number, please open. And we are going to understand about letters. So please come on the next page, means 206. Formal letters or informal letters. So dear students, as we all know that there are two types of letters. One is formal and second is informal. So there is a difference between formation of formal letter and informal letter. So when we write any letter to our relatives, to our friends, to our family members, 
so those letters are called informal and if you write any letter to a school principal ma'am or sir or to any newspaper editor those letters are called formal letters right so now first of all we are going to understand about informal letter first letter we are going to understand d letter write a letter to your ailing mother inquiring about her health you need to suppose that your mother is not well so you need to inquire about her health regarding this you need to write a letter right so first of all dear students whenever we write informal letter means the letter we write to our relatives or family members or friends first of all we should write our address means sender address we need to write like boys hostel masuri public school masuri right so first of all you have to write your address here after that you need to leave one line then you need to write today's date april 30 then comma 2021 right my dear mother so these words you can mention remember this first letter of mother will be capital and first letter of my will be capital i received a letter from daddy yesterday and was very upset to learn that you are bron bronchitis still persists and medicines are not proving very effective so in this letter first of all you are telling that <coughs> you are telling that you have just got a letter from the uh, from your father and in this it was written that your bronchitis problem is still persist and you are not getting any benefit with the medicines and after reading this you are quite upset second part i was anxious to come back home and be by your side at this time of your illness then we need to write i was quite eager means like uthri is telling that i am quite eager to meet you to see your health but uh, but i am not coming but you know that school authorities are very strict and won't permit me to miss my term examination i shall come home as soon as my examination is over then uthri is telling his problem and his desire he is saying that i want to meet you i want to come and i want to help you in this illness but he is telling that there is a term and condition in schools school uh, term exam examination is uh, going on so, so school authority is not giving me permission so i can't skip this this examination so soon i will come back he is saying that after finishing it over after after finishing in in the meantime kindly keep me informed about the progress of your health i sincerely hope you are acting on the doctor's advice and are taking a nourishing and balanced diet please do not become careless in taking your medicines perhaps it may be advisable to seek a second opinion also so in this author is telling that meanwhile i am not there so you should proper give me information about your health secondly you should take, keep taking the advice of doctors and you should keep taking balanced diet and medicine, medicines along with this author is telling that you should take the second advice of doctor too in the last i hope to meet you soon then sub subscription you and signature you have to mention you were affectionately you can mention here and then in the last you need to write your name so this was the format of informal letter first of all sender address date dear mom my dear mom also you can write then the main information you have to write first of all introduction main information and conclusion in the last you need to write subscription then you need to write your signature right students so this letter also you have to learn and write in your notebook now if you want to ask any question regarding today's class please come forward raise your hand